female bus driver was pulled off the bus and assaulted, and all the passengers on the bus stood by and did nothing to stop it. This is a true story that has been banned in China for 21 years, because it reveals the most horrible indifference in human nature. A newlywed female bus driver was driving on a deserted highway with a full load of passengers. Suddenly, a bus stopper appeared in front of her. The female bus driver saw him and waved to stop the bus. Jack thanked her for stopping the bus because he had been waiting for more than two hours. Jack got on the bus and saw that the female bus driver was so pretty that he couldn't help but talk to her. He lit up a cigarette and looked at the picture on the window to try to make conversation. This is not you, the female bus driver was used to this. She didn't say anything else, but indicated that Jack should sit down in the back. Jack had no choice but to step back. Soon after, two more men appeared in front of the road. One of them was lying on the ground, covering his stomach and seemed to be injured. The female bus driver hurriedly stopped the bus to ask them how they were doing. But the next moment, the two men quickly got up and rushed onto the bus and ordered everyone to take out their money. It turned out that they were robbers. They took out knives and forced everyone on the bus to hand over their belongings. Then one of them stood in place to control the scene. The other came forward with a duffel bag and took money from others. Most of the passengers were so scared that they had to hand over their money. Some of them valued money more than their lives. Soon the robbers began to threaten them with death. Female bus driver, seeing that the robber was looking fierce, quickly interceded and asked the man to give the money to the robbers. But the man still didn't move. Without further ado, the robbers held his head down and punched him twice in the face. Then he looked around at the others and slapped the man's face again and again. The man was so scared that he trembled and took out the banknotes in his pocket and handed them over. Anyone else who tried to make trouble with the robbers would be killed by him. The warning was effective. Soon all the passengers handed over all their money. But just as the robber was about to get off the bus, he turned around and saw the female bus driver with her head down. He couldn't take his eyes off the pretty young woman and ignored the urging of his companions. Soon the female bus driver was grabbed by him and dragged off the bus. The gangsters also tried to assault her. <laughs> female bus driver was dragged off the bus in front of everyone. She struggled and screamed for help, but the passengers were silent and no one came out to stop the robbers. Sometimes human indifference is worse than the violence of evil men. Jack couldn't bear to listen to the woman's cries. He couldn't understand why everyone was sitting still. A man in a head heard Jack's words and moved, but his wife immediately pulled him back and gave him a warning look. The head man's courage disappeared. Jack looked at the passengers who were not moving. He looked at the direction where the female bus driver was dragged away. He slowly made his way to the door of the car. Finally he looked at the silent crowd in the car and rushed out to save the female bus driver. Jack quickly got into a fight with another robber, but he was still weak and unarmed, so he had no power to fight against the fierce robbers. Jack was soon overpowered by the kidnapper and stabbed in the thigh. At that moment, the other passengers in the car suddenly moved, but they just jumped to the window and stretched their necks to watch the show. They were more interested in seeing what these two robbers would do than in saving their lives. Injured and helpless, Jack could only listen to the cries and screams of the female bus driver. Jack watched her being humiliated but could do nothing about it, but still no one on the bus went down to help them. They were all just looking on, not caring. The sound of their agonizing voices, intertwined with each other didn't move the indifference of the spectators on the bus. Soon the two robbers were satisfied and left, but until the two robbers were gone, the passengers on the bus remained indifferent. No one thought to help the injured. The unexpected disaster is finally over. The bruised and battered female bus driver got up and staggered toward the bus. She didn't pause when she passed Jack, and she didn't care that Jack was lying on the ground injured. Female bus driver was pulled off the bus and assaulted by the robbers in public, and all the passengers on the bus didn't help her. After the robbers left, female bus driver got up and put on her clothes and stumbled back to the bus. She got on the bus and looked around at all the passengers. All of them didn't say a word, but just looked at her with indifference. Some even looked away in disgust. The female bus driver reached up and wiped the blood from her face. Her eyes are full of pain and incomprehension. She sat her day back in the driver's seat with her hands on the steering wheel. And the more she thought about it, the more aggrieved she became so she couldn't help but lie down on the steering wheel and cry. Then she looked up again because she hit the horn. She didn't even have time to grieve, looking at the car's puppy doll still nodding its head in ignorance. 
The female bus driver's eyes gradually became more determined. As if she had made up her mind, suddenly Jack's voice woke him up. Jack was the only one who tried to save her when she was assaulted. He was still apologizing for not being able to protect her. When he finished apologizing, he was about to get on the bus, but then the female bus driver suddenly spoke up and kicked him off the bus. Jack was very puzzled. After all, he was the only one who got off the bus to save her. The female bus driver closed the door without further ado. Then she went to the back of the bus and threw Jack's package out. Then she started the bus and left. Jack was frowning in place for some reason. He couldn't figure out why the female bus driver was so ungrateful. But he had no other solution now. Jack had to drag his injured leg along the road for a long time before he managed to stop a bus. But when the driver drove Jack to a bridge, a police car suddenly blocked the way. Jack saw that he could not leave for a while, so he limped out of the car to see what was going on. However, what the police said at the scene made him instantly sweating. The police found the bus for for crashed into the cliff and confirmed that all passengers and the driver on the bus were not breathing. Jack heard the familiar number of the bus and instantly realized the purpose of the female bus driver to kick him off the bus. It turns out that she drove the bus with a car full of passengers down the cliff. The female bus driver took revenge on the silent executioner sitting on the bus at the cost of her life, but only left Jack behind. The fact that she didn't hesitate to leave him behind is the biggest thank you she could give him. It is never the cruelty of the wicked, but the indifference of the ordinary spectator that makes the world a bad place. The silent bystander is an accomplice when evil is done. Jack, the only one who stands up for her in the movie, is not a saint. He will talk to a young and pretty female bus driver when he sees one. He's happy to be the only one who survived a tragic car accident. But when he faced a vicious gangster, he didn't go with the flow to stay silent while everyone watched. Rather, he insisted on his goodness and bottom line. Jack's rescue of her may have been a matter of conscience. Maybe it's just a moment of bravery. But his choice and courage in this moment is enough to make him win over most people who are apathetic.